AutoCAD 2014 coupled with Autodesk 360 gives you access to what's called the design feed. The design feed is a feature that's been in AutoCAD WS, Autodesk's mobile version of AutoCAD that you can run on iOS or Android or in a browser, is now in AutoCAD. This is my favorite brand new tool from this version of AutoCAD. It's really cool. So if you don't have the design feed panel open, just go to your Autodesk 360 ribbon tab and click on the design feed button. That will open up this palette. What you have to do with your file before you can do anything with it is save your drawing to Autodesk 360. So you can just click save. So you save your file right here in your Autodesk 360 folder. I'm just going to call this design feed test. I already have a file in here, but it's blank. That's fine. I'm just going to replace it. So now this file is attached to my Autodesk 360 account. Now I can open up design feed again. Now design feed enables users to communicate through a drawing by adding notes and images for discussion purposes. You have to be logged into your Autodesk 360 account to use it and the file has to be saved in there as well. When you're using it though, it will display this palette here where you can share messages and images, notes, things like that with your colleagues, clients, consultants, or anyone else that you need to. Posts will appear with related drawings on a desktop, on the internet, or on your mobile device. These messages and images can be associated with a specific location in your drawing or just in general. There are different tools in here that will allow users to tag different colleagues or clients or consultants, whoever they've shared the file with. And you can share your files with multiple people via email. And then once you tag them or save the file, a notification will be delivered to that person. And it will also appear within AutoCAD. So if they have their version of the file opened up and it's shared through Autodesk 360, you make a change to it, you post a note here in Design Feed, and it will notify them right away. So you can be working in the same building even with your design team on a project. And you just come here and click on the Create Post. And that opens it up right here. You can say something like, this is the best design ever, and hit Post. And it tells you right here. Now it's number one, and I can do a lot of other things with it. I can click Reply to reply to it. I can say, hey, this has been resolved so we don't have to worry about it anymore, or I can even delete it. Now another nice thing here that you can do is you can associate this post with an area in the drawing. So I can click on it here and then find a spot, and there we go. Say this area is important, click Post. Now it's done that. So if I select this comment, it'll zoom right to it, the little note will pop up, and I know what's going on. You can pin something to a specific spot you can tag a person in a post, or you can even attach an image. This is very handy with the mobile devices if you're out in the field somewhere inspecting a house, for example. And you can take a picture, and it will be associated with a specific wall or the foundation, or maybe stairway, whatever the case might be. So you will have a picture from the field attached to your drawing, and it will be saved in the cloud. And you can also send that information to someone at your design shop, at your center, and they will be able to document it for you right away. So the design feed is a fantastic tool that can open up a lot of different possibilities for you and your coworkers or your colleagues to communicate with each other through AutoCAD.